Hey guys, I'm Avesh. This is the 22nd video of Dotted MAUI with Sync Fusion Control series. Let's quickly review our previous session before we get started. In the previous session, we learned about the PDF viewer of Sync Fusion MAUI control. We have customized and developed our PDF toolbar to achieve magnifications, copy paste, and we explored annotation capabilities of Sync Fusion components that can be applied to the Sync Fusion MAUI PDF viewer. We explored the highlight, underline, strike out, and squiggly annotations along with drawing rectangles, square, and circles, and concluded the session by applying stamps and sticky notes to the PDF viewer. Please refer to the previous session before proceeding further. In this session, we will focus on data visualization controls available in Syncfusion MAUI control series. In the 20th session of this tutorial series, we utilize the employee rating view component to create sliders with various combinations. We have understood numeric sliders, date range sliders, and range sliders to provide a rating for the employee. We concluded that session by creating an interactive Cartesian chat with a range slider. I did promise to explain about Cartesian chats during that session. We will explore the Cartesian chat that we have created with the range slider and we will also explore other example scenarios with the Cartesian chart control. Please refer to the 20th session of the tutorial series before proceeding further. A Cartesian chart, also known as a coordinate chart or rectangular chart, is a graphical representation of data in which data points are plotted and connected by straight lines. It is named after the French mathematician and philosopher René Descartes who introduced the Cartesian coordinate system. The Cartesian coordinate system is a two-dimensional plane formed by two perpendicular axes, the horizontal x-axis and the vertical y-axis. Each point in this plane is identified by a set of coordinates x and y where x represent the horizontal distance from the origin, usually the leftmost point on the x-axis and y represent the vertical distance from the origin, usually the bottom point on the y-axis. Some common types of Cartesian charts include line chart where data points are connected with straight lines. Line charts are used to show trends over a continuous interval of time. Scatter plot where individual data points are plotted without connecting the lines. These kind of charts are useful for displaying the distribution and relationship between two variables. Bar chart is another type of chart where rectangular bars are used to represent the values of different categories. The length of each bar corresponds to the value it represents. Histogram is similar to bar chart, but used to represent the distribution of a continuous data set. In histogram, bars touch each other as the data is continuous. Area chart is similar to a line chart, but the area between the line and the x-axis is filled. Area charts are used to emphasize the cumulative total of a quantity over time. Bubble chart is similar to a scatter plot, but each data point also has a size value. The size of each point is represented by the size of the bubble. Cartesian charts are widely used in various fields, including mathematics, physics, economics, and data visualization. They provide a visual way to understand the relationships between variables and analyze trends in data. Many software tools such as Microsoft Excel allow users to easily create Cartesian charts for their data. Now that we understand the Cartesian charts at a high level, let's now switch to the coding session and get going. I'll be using the same project that we have been working on from the previous sessions. We have been following the MVVM approach from the previous sessions and we will continue to use the same in this and the upcoming sessions. Now let's switch to the project, right click on the Syncfusion MAUI app, right click on the properties, right click on the manage NuGet packages and notice that I have already added the Syncfusion MAUI charts package to this project. I'm currently using the 23.1.36 version. Feel free to use the latest version as I'll be upgrading this version in the next sessions. Now once this is done, we need to create a view, right click on the view and add new item, choose dotnet MAUI. Let me choose the content page.xaml similar to how we have been using in the previous sessions and let me create one XAML file called 
data visualization chats dot xaml let me add that we now have the xaml file ready with a sample code let me remove this label now that we have created the view let's go ahead and create the model here right click and add new item once we create the model we will create the view model as well so let me choose a class and name this class as data visualization model dot cs and we have the data visualization model let me make this class as public and then let's start creating the properties called name data label date and values so that we can bind them to the cartesian charts so let me create a default constructor and create a property called which, which will be a string property and we will name this as name and then once this is done let's create public and let's create another property public double and call this as data so that we can bind the data that is needed now once we have the data i'll also create public string instead of description let's add a label here and then let's also create a date property so we'll call this as property date time and make it as date property after this let's create another double property called public double so let me copy it from here to make it faster and then we will create value value one for the comparison charts and then we will create value two we will keep it like that and then let's create constructors to assign the name and value so let me copy it from the other screen to make it faster so we have the constructor which accepts name and double value and assigns the name and double value let's also create another constructor to accept value one and value two along with this double value so let's create this constructor as well now we have the view and we have the model let's go ahead and create the view model let's now create a data visualization view model under view model folder right click and add new item choose a class again name this class as data visualization view model dot cs now let me make this as a public class let's create observable collection which are used to bind the data so let me create an observable collection called cartesian data which will hold the data visualization model which we just created under this model folder we will create another public method or a private method let's call void and we will name it as generate source i've been following this naming convention throughout this project so let me create this generate name generate source and we will say cartesian data equal to new observable collection and let's create an observable collection here within the cartesian data it depends on what you want to display as a chart let's say we want to showcase the population by country how do we do that we will create the data visualization model and which will hold the country information as well as the population information let's say we want to create country information with the current population as 330 millions for us and then let's also create few more countries such as indonesia pakistan nigeria russia and other countries which are having the current population as 330 279 247 and this number i'm representing in millions let me also add population related to india and china because they are in the top in the current population info once i add this let me create a constructor with the auto suggestion and once that is done we will invoke the method called generate source which will bind the data to the cartesian data property now once this is done we need to switch to the data visualization chat and bind this data to the data visualization chat xaml file let's now switch to the view which is our xaml file and within the xaml file let's switch to the sync fusion toolbox and drag and drop the control from this toolbox so let me say let me change this as a stack layout instead of vertical stack layout so let me rename this to stack layout and drag and drop the sf cartesian chart notice that it has already created the x axis y axis category axis and the column series with a template to bind the data let's now add the binding for this cartesian chart so let's say xml namespace let me call this as binding and this will be from our model which will be our CLR hyphen namespace colon sync fusion MAUI app dot source dot view model this is a place where we are creating the view models once we bind this data we will create a binding context within the Cartesian chart so let's say charts dot SF Cartesian chart sorry about that colon 
SF Cartesian chat dot binding context and we will create the binding context as binding colon. Notice that we get the prompt to choose the data visualization view model. So let me choose the data visualization view model and close this and save this project and the file. Let's do some customization before running this application. So instead of binding the static data object, let me add Cartesian data here and the X binding path will be the name that we have created. Y binding path will be the value. Let's also add a title to this chart and in order to do that, let me add charts colon SF Cartesian chart and the moment you press dot, you will get different options. So let me choose title. Within the title, let me add a label. Now this label, let me add a margin and a font size. We will also add options such as horizontal options as fill, horizontal text alignment as center, and then let me add a text to give the name to the chat, which is the population growth of various countries. Let's also add a text color and vertical options to this label. Now within the chat, let me remove this title called chat demo from here as we have the custom title, which we created within the chat. Once this is done, let's add horizontal options as fill for the chat. And we will also create vertical options as fill and expand. Let's now add some properties to the X axis and Y axis. I would say is visible to true and then I will add label placement is between ticks and then I'll also say show major grid lines to false for the X axis. Let's add some customizations to the Y axis. Let's add an interval to the numeric axis and say the interval would be 100. For every 100 millions, you will see the chart varying and then we will say show major grid lines to true and let's disable the minor grid lines for now. So let's call as minor grid lines equal to false. Now we'll also create a label style within the numeric axis. So within the numeric axis, let me create numeric axis label style and within this label style, let me create a chart axis label style property with some margin background and the label format. So let me create margin and background for now to this label style and we'll add more customizations such as major tick style, minor tick style as well within the numeric axis. So I'll add this from my other window. I'm adding the numeric axis major tick style with a stroke width and tick size. I'll also add the minor tick size with a stroke as transparent and with a stroke width as zero. Now let's also add a axis line style. So these are the different properties that are available. Feel free to play around with them. And in the axis line style, I've added the stroke width as zero. We are pretty much done with our customizations. So let me switch to the app shell.xaml and add a route here the way that we have been you the way we have been doing from the previous sessions. So let me copy and paste this flyout item and change the data template from employee review to data visualization charts and route as data visualization chat and let me change this title to data visualization. Let me also switch to the XAML file and change the title as data visualization charts. Let's now run this application and see the output. Let me now switch to the XAML file and change the height and width request before running this application. Let me make this height as 500 and width as 600. Let me start the application. For now, I'm running it as a Windows application. I'll also show you how it looks like in the mobile app as well. So let me run this application and let's notice the output. Look at that. We now have the Cartesian chat with columnar data populated and we have the variances from 0 to 1400 where 1400 plus being the population of India and China and US, Indonesia and Pakistan and other countries. Let me switch back and change the variance and show you the interval. The interval, if I change it to 200 and switch back, notice that the Y axis is automatically changing and aligning with the interval. Now let me switch back to the view model and comment India and China because they are very huge in the population. So let me comment this out and restart the application for a good visualization of the data chart. Look at the variances right now. Now we can switch the variance to make it very realistic. So let me make the interval as 50 and switch back. Notice that we have 0, 50, 100, 150 and so on till 350 as US being the highest. Now let's say we need to show the tooltip of this population. So let's add a enable tooltip property true to the column series. So let me go to switch to the column series 
and add enable tooltip to true which will provide us with the tooltip with the actual data. You might be now wondering where I got this information about the population. I got this from the worldmeters.info website. So let me add a link under this chart to point to that website. So let's say let's switch back to the code and after this Cartesian chart let me add a horizontal stack layout and within the horizontal stack layout let me add a couple of labels which determines the source of the link and then I will add another label where whenever you click on the label it will take you to that site with the tap command. Now to enable the tap command we need to switch to the data visualization model I'm sorry the view model and we need to create the command click event. So over here I will say public i command and let me call it as tap command which is nothing but our new command property which accepts the string which is the URL and that URL asynchronously we are going to redirect to that URL or open the URL in the new browser window. I would say await and launcher dot open async of that let me scroll towards right and mention that as a URL that's all. Now let me restart the application and notice the output. Look at that we have the source current world population the moment I click on this Notice that we now have the source as current world population here but whenever I click on this it's not working so let me switch back and see what's wrong here. We need to add the binding context to the stack layout. So after the stack layout let me add the binding context and the data visualization view model outside the chat. That is because our horizontal stack layout and the link tap command is no way related to the chats. It's an independent component. So it has to bind the data visualization view model step command so we need to add that. Let me also add some height request and width request for the stack layout and the vertical options as well. Now let me switch back to see that it is properly aligned. The moment I click on this it will take me to the world meter. Now this is a world meter population and I have procured the numbers from this top 20 large countries population metrics. Sync Fusion Data Visualization provides an option to customize the colors for the charts as well. Let's see how we can achieve that. Let me switch to the view model and create the palette colors. So let me create after this Cartesian data. Let me add a collection of brush with chart colors. Let me define this chart colors within the generate source adding couple of colors which are red, light red and blue. So let me add the chart colors within this generate source. And I would say which is equal to new solid color brush and we will add colors dot light green and I will also add one more color which is colors dot light blue. Once the color is added we need to bind this color which is our chat color. So let me switch to the XAML file and within the column series let me apply a property with binding called palette brushes and say binding chat colors. I would say charge colors. Let me restart the application and see the output. Notice that the palette has applied the alternative colors to the Cartesian chart. Cartesian chart creation is really straightforward and user friendly. We will learn about the sophisticated Cartesian chart customizations in the upcoming sessions. Till then, thank you for listening and have a great day.